Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap Video Tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood what is Bootstrap, where to download Bootstrap. We understood that to create a website using Bootstrap, first we create a root folder for the website and an HTML document inside it. In the previous video tutorial, we created a folder with the name My First Bootstrap Site. I double click to open it. Inside that, we created an HTML document with the name Default. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how do we make an HTML page mobile friendly. To make an HTML page optimized for small screen devices, that is, to make an HTML page get rendered properly on small screen devices, we need to add viewport meta tag to the head section of the page. To make an HTML page optimized for small screen devices, we need to add this line of code to the head section of the page guys. Meta name equal to viewport content width equal to device dash width comma initial dash scale equal to 1 where width equal to device dash width sets the width of our HTML page to width of the device screen automatically. Initial dash scale equal to 1 sets the zoom level of the HTML page to 1 when it is first loaded. So what I need to do guys? I need to copy this code. I minimize the word. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. To the head section, I need to add this code. Meta name equal to viewport content width equal to device dash width initial scale equal to 1. And then we should say save file save. I close it. Now our default.html is mobile friendly. Let's proceed further and get more information. We can also use maximum scale which is used to define how far user can zoom into the page. Minimum scale which is used to define how far user can zoom out of the page. You can just use comma here and add maximum scale equal to 2, minimum scale equal to 1 like that. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do you make an HTML page mobile friendly by using viewport meta tag. I suggest you people to try this yourself. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about bootstrap. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.